Yes, sir! What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. This is my first 2K17 video. Actual, actual, factual video? I don't know, man. It is what it is. Check it out, man. This is just something that can help you guys out. A lot of times, when you create your character, a lot of people go on and they don't know what to expect. You don't know... Uh, what your attributes are gonna be you got guesstimators and all those things like that But you don't have anything that definitive definitively tells you exactly what you're gonna be dealing with More importantly, you don't have anything that tells you what you're gonna be dealing with as compared to last year So um, I got these two sites that I go to to check out like when I was building a small forward last year I did so much research because I didn't want I was gonna invest VC anytime you're gonna invest VC man You don't want to waste your money. You don't want to create a character and then the character is garbage. It doesn't have anything, you know, it's nothing like what you're used to. It's nothing like what you actually wanted. You wasted the VC. Now the character's dead. He's just going to sit there and you just wasted uh, however much money you spent on the VC. So, to keep that from happening, what, I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you these two sites down here. The first site is the actual one. It's the, um, it's for 2K17. Let me move this over here so y'all can see it. This is the 2K17 site, right? You just go right in. Uh, last year, what I did was, well, this year I'm going to make a small four. So um, you, you select whatever you're going to make. Select your archetype. I'm going to make a sharpshooting small four, right? Boom. Okay, so that gives you all the attributes, right? Go down here, and you, set, you select the size, I mean the height or what have you. And uh, the only thing that, that on, the, on the other side, that would be like if you wanted to compare here, if I wanted to do a uh, small forward uh, sharpshooter, and I'm gonna move out of the way so y'all can see in a second. Let's say if I want to do somebody that was like 6'3, looks like the only one they got in here is 6'8. So let's say if I wanted to compare that position to like maybe I want to make a point guard sharpshooter and um, and I was gonna make him 6'3. So you can see right here, you can see the attributes that you would be getting. So if you make a if you make a small forward, um, or if you make a a, a, a point guard sharpshooter. These are the attributes that you'll be having. These are the attributes that you can expect. Uh, you know, you're gonna have a little bit higher contested uh, contested and jumper. I mean, this, this is to be expected because the taller you are, for some inexplicable reason, 2K feels like the taller you are, the uh, worse you are at shooting and uh, performing certain things. And that's fine, you know, the, the biggest thing is like you're gonna see is speed. A point guard has 85 speed, uh, a small forward has 69 speed. But this information is useless if you don't have anything to base it on. So that's why I'm giving you the other site uh, that's here as well. And you guys might have already used this, but this is the site that I used last year. Last year I used this site, um, and, and like I said, this link will be in the description as well. So what I did was I wanted to compare it to, I'm, I'm gonna zero this out because I don't wanna, I don't wanna see this while I'm doing this. What you wanna do is, oh my God. Uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, what, what, I'm, what I was doing is I wanted to compare my small forward last year to my small forward this year. The biggest thing is, you know, you got shot close is 80. It's gonna have a little bit less, little bit less shot close this year. Uh, shooting off the dribble, I, I don't even care about that. I don't plan to do that. I'm just gonna shoot standing layups. Um, let's check it out. Standing layups last year would have been 80. If I, if you maxed it out, and driving layups would have been uh, 66. And uh, this year it would be 70 for standing and uh, 67. For driving so you know you can you can you understand what i'm trying to tell you you can get a good base baseline for what you can expect so pretty much what you want to do is go into the first site put in the player that you had this year go into the second site and put in the player that you plan to make and then you can just completely compare them the biggest thing that i was worried about is speed so last year i had 70 speed as a 69 small forward this year said i'm gonna have 69 speed it's not gonna be a big difference I don't handle the ball anyway. Brutal Sim is the ball handler. He gets me open. He makes me look better than what I am. So I don't I don't have to do any of that. Like, like you can just go through and compare all the stats. Another thing, rebounder is gonna max out at 72 this year. That's gonna suck. I plan on maxing out my rebounding last year. Let's see, rebounding maxed out at uh 84. So I didn't max, but I didn't max my rebounding all the way out. So I probably did have about 70 some odd rebounding. Ball control maxes out at what 71 on on this one. Ball control last year maxed out at about well with ball control. There we go. Ball control. Ball control maxed out at 63 last year. So that's an actual upgrade, right? So I, I have a lot more ball control this year if I if I max out my playmaking. So that's good. That's like um moving with the ball or speed with the ball or whatever. So so I mean, 
you get the idea, man. If you're gonna make a player, if you're gonna make a player, this information is useless if you don't have anything to base it off. So what I'm saying is, go to the go to the first site that's in the description. Put in the player that you had this year. Put in the vitals of the player that you had this year. Go to the second site. Put in the player vitals of the player that you plan to make. And that way you can get an accurate comparison as to how that player stacks up to the player that you already have, if you understand what I'm saying. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. This will give you everything that you need, everything that you want, and you can make a very informed decision about what it is that you want, uh, what you want to create. So you don't waste VC, because nobody wants to get the, the Legend Edition and then you're gonna, you're going to, uh, you know, you end up wasting a bunch of VC on two or three characters, and now you've paid the price of the game two or three times almost, and you hadn't even decided on a character yet. This way you can do it without wasting any VC. And like I said, this helped me because just taking a look at it, I mean, this is essentially, I mean, he doesn't have as much vertical. Last year he had 78 vertical, this year he had 70 vertical. Last year, I mean, this year he got 63 strength, uh, last year he had 79 strength. But those are the things that really, really don't don't matter as much. The the vitals, um, like I'll be able to shoot a lot better, I'm having have a, 90, a 91 shot. You understand what I'm saying? So I feel completely comfortable with this. Um, and then I'll be 6'9", so I'll probably have a 90 shot. But I only had an 85 last year, so like I said, I feel completely comfortable with going ahead and creating this character because I'm basing him off of my character last year. And I'm saying that the things that are the most different, it doesn't even really matter as much. Keep in mind that these are the stats maxed out. Like if you maxed out each category, you're not gonna be able to max out each category. I think you get 125, maybe 130 at the most. There's gonna be 20 points out there that you're not gonna be able to use, the 25 points you're not gonna be able to use. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, hey, you probably just take something like, like put nothing in post or, or something like that. You know, there'll be a couple of categories you can probably get away with not putting anything again, man. But uh, like I said, hope this, get, hope this video helped you out. Hope it saves you some money. And uh, you guys, uh, if, you, if you're new to the channel, I got 2K all year, I got Madden all year, I got some, you know, some other stuff. So make sure you like the video, uh, comment, and I'll subscribe for more daily 2K content. But other than that, I'm out of here. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Bar, for shop BK the People's Temple. Holla! 360 out this month. Fuck!